What's going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about the original Big Bad Jurassic Park hybrid dinosaur that dates all the way back to the 1990s. The animal you're looking at now is known as the Ultimasaurus, believe it or not, and it was an insane genetic creation from InGen that debuted in the 1998 Chaos FX storyline. This wound up being the last toy line from the legendary Jurassic Park toy company Kenner, but it was originally intended to have its very own television series to go along with it. I've even heard rumors that Spielberg or Amblin in general may have commissioned a sort of amalgamated hybrid dinosaur similar to the Ultimasaurus for usage dating all the way back to Jurassic Park 2 or something like that around the early to mid 90s. But again, that's just something I heard. So this is the real deal that they were going to go with at the end of the day. Now back in the 90s, at the time in which the Ultimasaurus was going to be introduced, Jurassic Park was fresh off of their second movie, The Lost World, which featured a lot of down to earth dinosaur behavior. It's more of a North American looking environment that was probably closer to what animals like the Tyrannosaurus and Triceratops lived in during the Cretaceous period. And that movie in general was just way more realistic looking compared to other entries in the series. But one thing it also had going for it was a darker and more mature atmosphere that also sets it apart from the other films in a big way. And it looks like right after that film came out, the idea was to kind of lean more into that sort of savage nature with dinosaur designs like this. And while we can't say for sure that the dinosaur was ever intended to be in a live action movie the same way it's designed here, The Lost World would have come complete with a television series that was going for more of a wild hybrid dinosaur look and feel, albeit far darker and more twisted than what I think many people would have expected. And this thing was being introduced right smack in the middle of all that. Whatever the case may be for how the creators would want to showcase it, this dinosaur would definitely have been terrifying and formidable compared to everything else that we'd gotten. And knowing Jurassic Park, they'd probably try to make it fight the T-Rex. Kind of like what went down in 2015's Jurassic World, but I think I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyways, the Ultimasaurus as we know it today was a combination of several different dinosaur species. The first and foremost obviously being Tyrannosaurus Rex, and there's also stuff in there like Triceratops, Stegosaurus, Ankylosaurus, and Velociraptor. The arms are long, it's got really dense claws, some interesting material on the back, a frill that's obviously complete with horns. It just looks really gnarly. Now the model that you've been seeing used on screen comes from the company Nanmu, who do really cool Jurassic Park and world dinosaur models based off of their movie counterparts. And while the Ultimasaurus never made it into a finished live action film, it was a big part of the franchise history back in the 90s, right after the Lost World wrapped. So obviously they're gonna make a figure for it, and I think their work here does a good job at representing it. It's not exactly identical, but it's pretty close, and it gets the idea of what the Ultimasaurus was going for. Not sponsored at all, just my own personal opinion. Unfortunately, the Ultimasaurus never made its big debut in that TV show or the toy line because Chaos Effect never released its figure. I've done a whole breakdown on what that show would have been like years ago, but as far as this dinosaur goes, the Ultimasaurus only got released as a young hatchling back in the late 90s, so it was technically an official release, but not in the way I think a lot of us were looking forward to. There have been a lot of mods for it in Jurassic World video games though, and there's even a really cool one for Ark Survival Evolved that I've played. It's uh, kind of crazy to see that thing running around with the Jurassic Park T-Rexes and Raptors. But even with Ludia making similar themed hybrids that look a lot like the dinosaur in their mobile games, the Ultimasaurus is kind of just this mysterious hybrid dinosaur that was being worked with in the 1990s during the initial boom of Jurassic interest. Even during production of the Lost World movie itself, Steven Spielberg almost utilized some Something he called the Super Raptor, which he admitted was far too alien and monstrous for that film at the time of release. But whatever that was, we can assume it would have been some kind of elite monster raptor that sounds an awful lot like the Indoraptor from Fallen Kingdom, or even the Alpha Raptor from the top of Mount Watson in Jurassic Park Trespasser, the video game. Ultimately, I think the Ultimasaurus was channeled into Colin Trevorrow's Jurassic World with the Indominus Rex, which is essentially the same thing as far as the story goes with just a radically different design. But when it comes to the very first big bad monstrous dinosaur, we really do have to go back to 1998 with this animal that never made a real debut to the public outside of its hatchling form in a toy. It was going to be in a TV show, I'm guessing, for Chaos Effect. It was going to be released as a giant figure, and like I said, guys, I'd heard they were working on like hybrid dinosaur designs or monstrous dinosaur designs way back in the 90s around the Lost World era. One thing I do want to say as far as the Ultimasaurus goes in the 
1990s in general is that I think this would have made for one seriously interesting design for Stan Winston Studios to have tackled back at that time period because if you guys don't know I have a whole second channel called Dragon Curve where I go over monster movies and Stan Winston always gets brought up in that list of just legendary material he's done for stuff outside of even Jurassic Park. With him designing stuff like the Queen Alien and Aliens or even the Crocodile and Lake Placid, I really do think the team behind all that stuff, you know, if you had Crash McCreary, Matt Winston who did a lot of the work on the animatronic Triceratops, which obviously you would have like a Triceratops head involved in the Ultimasaurus for a movie, just imagine what that would look like at the time in like 97, 98, 99, 2000. They were at the peak of their powers with animatronic effects at the time and seeing this in live action, while it would be radically weird, radically different and something that a lot of Jurassic Park people would not expect, that is what Chaos Effect was. And with Steven Spielberg already mentioning stuff like the Super Raptor way back in the late 90s and with them factually having three-headed blob Tyrannosaur creatures and all kinds of other strange stuff on standby for that animated TV series, you can see how something like this would have been at least very, very interesting to see in the late 90s in a live action film. And even if it wasn't Stan Winston Studios, of course it would be, but even something like the other creature shop that they were going to look for for Jurassic Park 2 that did Super Mario Brothers the movie with Yoshi's animatronic and puppeteering effects. Imagine Patrick Totopoulos, you know, designing some creature like the Ultimasaurus for a Jurassic Park film. He's behind the Bowser and Godzilla from 98. I just think that would have been the perfect time to entertain this sort of creature being in a live action project. But yeah, it's way too late now and we've already gotten the other creatures that I think actually went from the idea, which would have been the Indoraptor and Indominus Rex respectively. Regardless, would have looked cool. But yeah, these are all just my own thoughts and opinions on the subject matter. What do all of you guys think? What are your thoughts on the Ultimasaurus and do you think it would have made for an interesting creature or design if Chaos Effect had been the Jurassic Park 3 that got released way back in the day? How do you think Stan Winston Studios and ILM would have tackled a creature like this and how terrifying do you think the film would have been and what's your thoughts on the idea in general? Do you think this is a good idea? I've always thought it was kind of a silly name but yeah, whatever your own opinions and thoughts happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens and engine executives as well as all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. You've all helped my channel immensely and I'm incredibly grateful for all of that support. Now I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video and hope that you enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you all consider subscribing. I'll see you all in the next video guys and as always, take it easy.